And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And on the menu, action from Europe's Premier Club competition, the Champions League. This the first leg of the semi-final. It's Benfica up against Ajax. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top-quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. Here's the initial 11 for Benfica. Nicolas Otamendi starts with Jan Vertonghen at the back. Joao Mario plays with Julian Weigel in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, here's the starting lineup for Ajax. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. Sebastian Aller. Just the challenge that was required. Oh, great attacking play. Ajax in a position of menace. Great opportunity. Well, he hit it with authority. Close. personified but in this game Stuart what do you think we might see from him well the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas and he can certainly play in tight areas he wriggles out of situations he can find that penetrative pass and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away he could be the outstanding player today We're getting the ball forward and options on the centre well, a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Good tackle. Joao Mario. He's managed to lose his marker. A chance to whip it in. Brilliant save. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. It's a fantastic stop from the keeper, you have to say. Well, he's allowed his opponent to get past him. He'll try his luck here. But the keeper takes charge, and it was pretty straightforward. 
And showing fine vision. This is looking threatening. And the corner has been given. What about the opportunity from earlier? Let's have another look now, shall we? corner played into the box and routine for the keeper in the end the cross far too close to him Lanzaro takes some progress with the ball at his feet plays it back well diving magnificently to make sure he got there Sending it in. Grimaldo. And here's João Mario. Grimaldo. And crossed in the direction of the back post. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Over it comes. And they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Danger averted for now. Into the advanced position. He takes aim. Oh, really close. Just over the top. João Mario. Rafa here. Yaremchuk. And the referee spotted the foul but has played advantage. Big chance. And it should have been the first goal of the game. Well, I can't believe that chance has been squandered. That should have been the opener. And I must say that's very good refereeing going back to hand out the yellow card in that fashion. Here's Berghaus. Now, what can they do from here? Must take the lead here. Well, it was pretty straightforward for the goalkeeper. Oh, moving it nicely. It's there for him. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And taken short. And a fine cross. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. And we are going to have two additional minutes. A sloppy pass.
Long way out this. Really good diving save. Who can they pick out? Well, clattered away. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, probably a fair assessment of his first half's work would be a mixed bag. Well, he didn't contribute enough in that first half. I think he needs to work harder to get on the ball. He was far too static. In my view, he's got to make more runs behind this back line in the second half. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. It's with Berghaus. Tadic has it. Grafenberg. Well, not great defending, but a good piece of tidying up. Allaire takes it on. Well, a powerful effort, but he couldn't quite keep the shot down. <laughs> Lazaro. Oh, he's given the ball away. Edson Alvarez. Tadic. Options in the centre. And clears his lines. Tadic. Oh, he looks threatening. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. So underway again here, 1-0 the score. Valentino Lazaro. And a decent delivery. Oh, he needs to clear it here. Now well, we're into the final half hour. Grafenberg couldn't find a teammate throw in here Grimaldo Julian Weigel couldn't keep the ball well that is how to run at defenders and crossed in there well thumped clear referees are rightly praised for giving advantage but when there is no advantage it has to be a free kick Andre Almeida. Roman Garemchuk. Giving the 
the ball to the opposition that time. Good effort here! And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Here's Berghaus. Kudus. Mohamed Kudus. Might be able to get in behind the defence. Well, nicely cut out. So a throw in here. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Mazraoui. Giving it a try. Full credit, wonderful stop. Rafa. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. Just straying offside. And the substitution will occur now. Sets up the chance. Taking care of business defensively here. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, it hasn't been a great performance, but the fans have been brilliant. Just listen to the noise. Can the players respond and find this equaliser? And space to cross it. Well, spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Doing well to keep possession. The high press was very much on. Rafa. Electing to cross into the centre. It was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Dusan Tadic. No space for them here. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Valentino Lazaro and the referee blows his whistle that is the end of the contest and a fine result for the away fans and if they can repeat this sort of performance on home soil then they will surely be going through yeah that was a tight game and I think they just about deserve their lead but it's a slender one and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final well we're picking him out for a reason he's had a tremendous game and attack Stuart well he gave them a really hard time didn't he his speed of thought was excellent and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.